Hello, I'm Professor James Drakeley of the University of Illinois in the United States. I was a member of the committee that wrote the eighth edition of Nutrient Requirements of Dairy Cattle, which was published by the National Academies of Science, Engineering, and Medicine, or NASM, at the end of 2021. Um, we've prepared a, a, an overview of the chapter in which we talk about, uh, or the chapter dealing with calf nutrition, in which we talk thoroughly about all of the new features and the, the processes involved in, in developing the requirements for young calves. We go through the chapter sequentially and talk about the different pieces of the, of the chapter, the different requirements for protein, energy, uh, estimation of dry matter intake, requirements for vitamins and minerals as well as the discussion of the, the literature review, which deals with a wide variety of topics. So this overview in the, the course will provide you a thorough description of the chapter, help introduce the new concepts as well as the old, and enable uh, users to have a, a better understanding of the chapter. So we hope you'll, you'll uh, take part in this course uh, and uh, um, watch the information and use it along with the new uh, version of the NASM publication to learn more about feeding and nutrition of young calves. I'd like to encourage all nutritionists and anyone that has an interest in dairy cattle nutrition to get a copy of the publication and, and read it. It's full of valuable and current information about feeding lactating and dry cows, heifers, and calves. Much of the publication has been rewritten and extensively revised since the NRC 2001. Uh, as an example, the calf chapter has been completely revised. All the calculations were made using empty body weight to remove the incidence of or the influence of gut fill. There's a new model for calculation of requirements from body composition data that were obtained from Holstein and Jersey calves. We developed equations for energy and metabolizable protein requirements from those data then that are, are much more accurate than the NRC 2001 version. We added equations to estimate starter intake by young calves, which provides something that the NRC 2001 did not have. The model adjusts for both cold stress as well as heat stress in this version, which is a new feature. The mineral requirements were revised and are more quantitative than previously. And there's a revised and expanded literature review about milk feeding rates, starter, colostrum, forage feeding, and many other topics. It's really the place to go to find everything about calf nutrition and nutritional management. There's also a new chapter on dry and transition cows. The chapter deals with both energy and protein requirements of these cows. Uh, talks about mineral requirements uh, relative to calcium metabolism and the new requirements for vitamin E. Again, there's an extensive literature review that deals with current topics regarding dry and transition cows. Of course, there are chapters about energy, carbohydrates, fats, protein, minerals, and vitamins. But there's also some new chapters that deal with environmental impacts of dairy production, analytical techniques, toxins in feeds, and, as well as, as chapters on heifers and water, among others. As a teacher and mentor of graduate students, the NASM publication is invaluable as a teaching tool. It's a great way to use current information to teach fundamental and applied concepts to students. So this is valuable to me in addition to my roles as a practicing nutritionist. All in all, the, the publication is a tremendous resource for any nutritionist to review the current state of the art in dairy cattle nutrition. I hope all of you will take the time to read and study it. It's, tr it's really a, a tremendous resource. Thanks for your time.